Uh, ¿Habla español? Sí. Uh, ¿Escucha? Sí. Jesús te ama. ¿Mande? Jesús te ama. Yo ya sé. Mucho. Grande. You. You. Ya sé. Um, and also, before I let you go, I want to bless you tonight, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray for you, all right? Okay. Um, um, how do you say? Um, you can say it in English or in Spanish. No, I want to say it in Spanish because I'm practicing my, my, my Spanish. Um, uh, how do you say, uh, oh, como te amas? Como. Me llamo Daya. Maya? Sí. Oh, me, me llamo David. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Okay, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Me, okay. Me, me, how do you say it in Spanish? How do you say it? Me llamo? No, how do you say your name? Maya. Maya, there we go. Maya, boom, I got it. Maya. All right, and your friends can join along in the prayer too as well, okay? Now, before I pray, I want to ask you, did you have any, like, physical pain in your body, anything that gives you trouble, like back pain, knee pain, anything like that? Uh, no. Okay, good. You're nice and healthy. All right, I'm going to pray for you. Father, I just thank you for Maya right now, Lord. I thank you for the amazing plan that you have for her life, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Do new things within her heart and her life, Lord, even among her family, Lord. I thank you for the... Just such the sweet spirit that you put on the inside of her father. I thank you, Lord, that even people, as, as they see her, Lord, that they would see your very life and your very presence living on the inside of her, Lord. That nothing can tear her down. Nothing can bring her low. Lord, you're the one that brings her high up, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that nothing bad or evil or harm can touch her, Lord. Because, Lord, she's in your presence, Lord. And, Lord, I thank you that you protect her. You're around about her as a wall of fire. And I thank you for your spirit, Lord, that dwells in her. In the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Lord, if she has not received Jesus as her Lord and Savior, I pray she'll do so now. If you would like to receive the gift that God has for you, just say this prayer with your heart and lips out loud. Dear Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> if you would like to receive the gift that God has for you, just say this prayer with your heart and lips out loud. Dear Lord Jesus. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus. Amen? No, you're supposed to repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come to my heart. Wash me and cleanse me. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free, Lord. Set me free. Set me free, Lord. I give you my life. I give you my life. In my heart, Lord. In my heart, Lord. Now just close your eyes, lift your hands to heaven, and I'm going to pray that God fill you with his presence and his peace. And he's going to fill you up. And you're going to feel actually God's presence on you. And it's going to feel awesome. So, Father, I thank you for my friend tonight, Lord. Thank you for blessing her with your peace and your presence. And even as I was 17 years old, Lord, some years ago, that, Lord, you carried me from 17 to the age that I am now, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that same peace that carried me, Lord. Till now, Father, I thank you to be even hers, even tonight, right now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for filling her up from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, right now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for placing your hand even on my friend's head. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. You even feel the, the Lord's hand on your head, Maya. And God is touching you right now, even right now. His hand is on your head. His hand is on your eyes. His hand is on your ears. And he's causing you to be able to hear his voice and to see him clearly and to have his mind. So, God, I thank you for breaking off limitation. I thank you, Lord, there will be no limits within her life, Lord. I thank you, Father, for setting her free, Lord, giving her peace, even right now. I say, I hear the Lord just saying for you, Maya, he says, I'm giving you peace right now, that your heart is flooded with his peace, that from, the, from this night forward, you will only know his peace, and you'll know that it comes from Jesus. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, that even what's on me, Father, even comes on her right now. In Jesus' name, every gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord, all nine of the gifts, Lord, I impart to her, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that when she prays for sick people, people that are hurting with back pain and knee pain, 
that they will be made whole in the name of Jesus, that at her word, Father, in your name, they would be whole in Jesus' name. I thank you for Maya tonight. Amen. Amen. How you feeling? Good. What did that feel like? Like, if I was like, mm, like, if somebody was grabbing me and I had like, it was heavy by my back. Whoa, say that again. I felt like somebody was like it was heavy by my back, like like it was heavy. It was you said heavy? Yeah, like my body was really heavy. Wow. See that that's the Lord's presence. That's his love can coming on you. And the Lord was just touching you tonight. And he was just filling you with himself, giving you peace. And in that did it almost feel like electricity? Did it feel like electricity at all? Yeah, like on my hands. Like your, like electricity. And so yeah. even from this night forward, um, God filled you. He, This is what God did. God lives in heaven. Mm -hmm. But what God wants to do, he wants to live in us. But the only way that he can live in us, Maya, is if we open the door of our heart to let him come on the inside of us. Does that make sense? So just like you're at your house, the only way that somebody's going to be able to get in is through the front door, right? Mm -hmm. That's the only way they're going to be able to get in. And so what do they do before they come in? They they knock. They And so what do you do? You stand up. You're like, who is that? You look through the keyhole. He's like, who is that? I don't know who that is. I wasn't expecting anybody. But you see somebody. And what happens when you see Jesus in front of your door? You want You want to open the door and allow him to come in because Jesus is not bad. Jesus is only good. Jesus raised the dead when they died so they can have life on the inside of them and keep on walking in the plan and purpose that God had for them in their life. Jesus prayed for people in the Bible that had blind eyes. And guess what happened, Maya? The blind eyes opened. They could see again. Jesus prayed for the deaf ears. And the deaf ears of people that couldn't hear for years, they popped open and they could hear again. People that could not walk for years, 20 plus years, Jesus came right beside them. And guess what happened? He prayed for them. He touched them. He spoke the word and he said, get up, restore, your, your, be, be made whole. And they got up and started walking. And so that same power that was in Jesus when he walked the earth and prayed for the sick, that same power that was in Jesus lives in you, dwells within you. So when you go out and you see somebody, say in Walmart or a grocery store or wherever, and you begin to pray for them, guess what's going to happen? God's going to heal them. And you don't walk by sight. You don't look at, are, are they are they made whole? Are they healed yet? Are they healed yet? You pray for them. And you believe that God healed them right then and there. Even if you see them healed right then and there, or you don't. You pray for them by faith and you say, Lord, I trust in you. Lord, I believe you're going to heal this person. They're going to be made whole. So that same power that's in me lives in you. Does that make sense? Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm actually going to go on this Friday mm -hmm. to church and I'm going to go dance um, uh, to Jesus. Mm. Wow. This Friday. Is it going to be is it going to be a play or something? Oh, uh, well, it's going to be the whole night and then the next day. OK. OK. So when you when you go up there to dance and do what you do, you're going to dance with such passion and people are going to see you and they're going to be like, whoa, there's something different about Maya. Like she's, she's just something different. And they're going to see God dance through you. It's not just going to be a dance that you get up and you just entertain people. God's going to move through you in such a way that when people see you, they see God dancing through you. Isn't that awesome? So yeah. I want you to check this out, Maya. I'm going to say this. I'm going to go. But I want you to always remember this. Your identity, who you are, is defined in the secret place. What's the secret place, you ask? The secret place is when nobody's looking. 
It's when you're in your bedroom like you are right now. The lights are closed. The lights are off. Nobody's in the room. It's just you and Jesus. And you begin to talk to him. And you begin to give him your heart and your life. And you're honest to him. And your heart is humble. And you say, Father, I just thank you for your life in me. God, I thank you, Lord, for for giving me peace and giving me protection. And Lord, I just don't want to just ask you for things, Lord. I want to know who you are. Just like I have a relationship with my mother or my dad. and But Father, I want to have a relationship with you, Lord. Not just a relationship where people talk about you and I go to meetings and just hear about your name. But God, I want to know who you are right now. And when you get honest and open before the Lord like that, that's when you start hearing the voice of God. When you speak to the Lord, he'll speak to you back. And it won't be some silent thing. He'll speak to you very clearly and so loudly. And your spirit, who you are, will begin to develop an ear for God's voice. Because God is always speaking to people. But a lot of people, they don't hear the voice of God like they should. Because their heart is numb. It's dull. They can't hear him. Because their heart is so distracted by the things of the world, that they can't hear God's voice. But God is going to speak to you, Maya, in such a way that you're going to be able to know that, wow, that's God's voice. And you're just going to walk throughout the day doing your daily things, whether you're at school or whether you're playing with your friends or whether you're in your room by yourself. You're going to begin to hear the voice of God from this night forward. Even as you go to sleep tonight, God's going to give you a dream. God's going to show himself to you and he's going to speak to you. And you're going to begin to develop a relationship with Jesus himself to the point to where nobody can deter you or distract you and tell you that, no, there's not such thing as Jesus. Jesus is not real. God is not real. You're, you're going to hear that from people, but you're not going to fall into those voices because you'll know Jesus for yourself. And knowing the Lord doesn't mean that you go to church. Knowing the Lord doesn't mean that you sing in a choir. Knowing the Lord doesn't mean that you're doing all these things for him. Knowing the Lord is when you get alone, when nobody's looking and your heart is open and you begin to share your heart with his and it's a love relationship. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So I'm going to pray for you one more time and I'm going to let you go. I got to jet myself. I'm going to pray for you one more time. And God's going to release something special to you, Maya. And so just close your eyes, lift your hands to heaven. That's where help's going to come from. So, Father, I thank you for my Lord. I thank you, for, Lord, for your very presence, even on her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for depositing something within her, Lord. Very special, even right now, in Jesus' name, in her heart, Father. I thank you, Lord, for laying your hands on her eyes, Lord, to be able to see, Lord. Thank you, God. I impart to her dreams and visions, Lord. Dreams and visions, even right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Father, that it's like a heat on your hands, the fire of God from the top of your head to the soles of your feet right now, in Jesus' name, even on your head, even on your hands, even on your feet. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is speaking to you even right now. He's giving you a special assignment to talk to your friends, to talk to your parents, to give them the word of the Lord, to give them hope, to give them hope. And I thank you, Lord, for that, even for my, even right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, touch Touch, touch, touch in Jesus name, even on your heart. I see the Lord, the Lord's hands even on your heart right now in Jesus name. And I see even the Lord's hands even on your hands right now, Father. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Even right now. The fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God's on you. Lebro sondora casendere sondoro. Fill her up, Lord. Fill her up, Lord. Fill her up, Lord. Fill her up from head to toe. From head to toe. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for it tonight. Amen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's hot in here already. <laughs> you feel that? <laughs> you feel that joy? You feel that come out of you? Like that joy? God give you a new. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. That's God's presence. That's his fire. That's his fire. That's his fire. You feel different. What do you feel? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's hot in here and I feel like somebody's on my back. Like it's really heavy. Wow. Come on. Wow. That's awesome. That's the Lord. Come on, Jesus. 